Right now, as an international touring artist, an American Banjo Hall of Famer is in town to perform at the Sigal Music Museum this weekend. Cynthia Sayer right here in our studio right now. Uh, thank you for being here and bringing a second banjo for me. Well, yes, now's your chance to be a banjo player. I, I read that <laughs> banjo, was, uh, banjo was not your chosen instrument, but what do you do with it differently? What do you love about banjo? Well, the banjo has so much swing and drive, and, you know, I'm a jazz banjo player player a lot of people when they think of banjo they think of bluegrass and folk mm -hmm. music and country music this is the original fretted instrument of jazz so it's a whole other kind of banjo okay and uh, I just thought it might be fun for you to play it a little bit and you play it differently than some people do so uh, you know you've got your own style you want to describe that and then well, give me a lesson you know a lot of the four string uh, banjo style comes from using a flat pick and so just like a jazz guitar player I'm strumming like this so uh, you know it's a little different than I actually don't know how to do all that stuff unless uh, that's like a whole different instrument okay. like playing trumpet and trombone you, you told know. me how to hold my fingers for just a real simple <laughs> thing and I've already forgotten I think the okay. first one is on the second string the second there one's on you the go first. okay all right so so you and I we're just gonna make something up right so and every so when I'm gonna go one two, three, four, you're gonna strum down every single time. You okay, ready? I can do that. One, two, three, four. Keep going. You so sound you're natural. Okay. You want you wanna change you wanna change fingers to a whole other chord. Put one finger there, get rid Good of the thumb. others. Well, not normally, but why okay. not? Let's do it. All right, I got it. one <laughs> finger over there. That you said any other needs? Just that's this. it. Okay. okay, same thing. You're gonna keep strumming for it, and you're gonna do. Uh, let's do eight strums there, and then go back to the other. Okay. Eight strums here, and eight strums there. Right? No, uh, just oh, just there. Okay, there, there. Okay, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now go back to the other one. Wow. We got to go on the road. I would love that. <laughs> I'm going to put this down and, and go on the road with you. And you are on the road right here in town. You've yes, got an I excellent am. show coming up. Talk to us about the performance at Sigil and, and what people can expect from this night. This is going to be incredible. Well, I'm I'm really honored to be uh, down here uh, playing for the Sigil Music Museum. Oh, I just want to give a shout out also to the Fifth String Music Store who kindly lent us Thank this. Thank you, Fifth String Music this, Store. That was uh, so fun for me. Yeah, that was great. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about banjo history there and the banjo has a very fraught and turbulent history which in a in an interesting way and in an uncanny way reflects our American social history um, there's incredible racism there's misogyny there's a whole dramatic arc of this from an instrument that I actually experienced as as a musician as a professional musician touring mm -hmm. and I and when once I learned about the history then I understood all the strange reactions to this instrument in jazz and so I'm going to try to explain okay. and talk a little more about this instrument in the jazz world since it's less known than in bluegrass and folk and country and this so on. This is going to be an incredible show and I love how you're going to weave this history in. It really is a lesson in history, a performance yes. in music, all those things. And you are also uh, the winner of the Steve Martin Banjo Award with you know, the yeah. highest honor. So it's an honor to have you here. Thank you And we want to send everybody to your show <laughs> so they can find you. That is the Unexpected Journey of Jazz Banjo, a lecture and, and performance. There'll be a little music there, too, just it, so you know. Absolutely, but not, not for me. You'll do it beautifully. It happens at Sigal Music Museum Sunday, May 5th from 3 o'clock. Tickets are free through Eventbrite, but strongly recommended that you register in advance. That link and this segment on accesscarolina.com.